How's it, New Blitz, and welcome back for another Storytime Sunday. Today we are going to continue with The Wolf Among Us. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Okay, that's snow. Hmm. Big me. Yeah, big wolf. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Hi, buddy. The woodsman? Yep, and his axe. And there's little red. And the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. Sleeping Beauty. Happier days. Oh, sorry, not Sleeping Beauty, Beauty and the Beast, my bad. And a man. Beast. Funny. Colin and his brothers. That looks familiar. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing. I only translate. What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? My magic word. What's it do? Makes animals shit gold. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. Hold on, wasn't this in the, um, the portrait we saw? Anyway. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlairau? I'll go look it up. Alerlairau. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> Ah, it prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. I 
I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Nice hat. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Alright, let's see if the ma magic mirror can help us with something. Okay, maybe tell us what the cards are. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Okay, that's interesting. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. And that doesn't look too good. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business offer. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Well, let's go see. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. 
you guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there? Wait here. Shit. Enough, all right, just shut it. <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. Should probably get that fixed. Well, I guess it always looks worse during the daytime. in there, okay? Hey, Toad. You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. Right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Right, let's see the map. Now this happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All well, the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Well, it's not plugged into the wall. Your lock's busted, too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. 
this just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. You bleeding? Why, you say it's blunt. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Is that more blood? There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... That's how it happened, didn't it? Oh, I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. You not make a big faff out of this. There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you cover for it. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. What is that? Marks? Man? Thumb? Well, thumb marks, hand marks. No, uh, finger marks. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, I... No, there's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. You heard uh, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? But you wouldn't need keys since the lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Oh, third is not looking very good for you. There's a mark over here, too. What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? That is the old socket that's empty. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. 
The space in the dust is from where you oh, moved oh, it. I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on. Get off with this. Big B, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... They're sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Big B. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you going to leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When I figure out what's going on here, Toad. I can't help the process along, you know. How? How am I gonna help the process along? I cut me end. I broke the lamp. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You wanna tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, I... A Tweedle, Thumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. What did you tell him? Nothing. There's nothing he wanted to know, except if I had this thing that he wanted i would have told you i wanted to really i did but he said if word of this ever got back to him if he ever thought you knew or miss white he'd come back and kill my boy i even tried to give a blouse to the coat he wouldn't take it whose coat the girl dad borrows things from people who live here uh sometimes borrows i don't steal nothing Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? No, it's part of an investigation, Don't so... Don't make it a dilemma. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the Prince's now? Lawrence's, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way.
I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. This is a murder investigation, Snow. Things aren't that simple. If we try and do everything at once all the time, some things are going to slip through the cracks. Just leave it to me, all right? Let's see what happens when we get inside. All right. All right, let's see if there's maybe something in the trash new. I guess going in. Just peep into someone's house. Check if he's home. Can you hear me? Stay with me, Lawrence. Gonna no. be all right. No. Let me go. Shit. What is it that you're telling us? Bigby, water. Kitchen. Did this to you. <laughs> Faith. Still have that letter. Yes. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. It matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. 
Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit that smash button and like the subscribe button. Cheers.